welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play arguably Chopin's shortest prelude or shortest piece of music, which is prelude in A major, opus 28, number seven, sometimes known as the Polish dance. And it's a lovely, slow, um, expressive, beautiful piece of music. Um, I think would be suitable if you were maybe around grade three level. It uses the pedal, it's got that lovely split chord in there as well. A nice short piece to play. Um, he's also done another one which is in uh, C sharp minor, so I may even do that one as well, so let me know if you want more Chopin preludes. I've also already done the prelude in E minor as well on my channel. This was used in the video game The Titanic Adventure Out of Time, so you may recognise it from that if you ever played that game. So we're going to work with the sheet music in this one. I'm going to pull up each line uh, and I've linked where I've got the sheet music from down below, so working from that version today. I'll go through each line hand separately and then I'll put it hands together and of course you heard it at the beginning all the way through. So this one is in the key of A major, so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of A major. So it's mostly formed using those notes. Here's middle C as a reference. The lowest note you'll need is an A, this A. But if you don't have that note, you just have to use whichever A you do have. It will still sound really lovely. And then the highest note will be this C sharp here. So here is the first line. So you can see that it starts on the third beat of the bar because there's only one crotchet in that first bar, one quarter note. So I'm going to do the right hand first. And if you use the fingers that I am using as a guide, one, two, three on E, C sharp, D, and then you're going to play D, G sharp, and B. That chord, three times. And then we're going to come up to D and F sharp. And then we have B sharp, which is effectively a C with D sharp. And then we have, we're going to sort of twist that round, so we have C sharp and E and then C sharp and A three times. And then it comes down and plays E and C sharp. So I'll do that line again without talking. So the left hand, so we have an E. Again, if you don't have these lower notes, you just have to work within the octaves that you do have. It'll still sound nice. So we have an E, pedaled, and then you've got octave E's three times. Then a rest, then this A, and then A and E three times. And that's it for the left hand, I'll do it again. So I'm going to put that first bit together now really slowly. It's a slow one anyway. <laughs> so here, you've got a cross between the thumbs there, so they create this shape. <laughs> so I know that's slightly awkward, so the right hand, make sure the right hand is over the left hand. I'll just do that again. So the right hand is higher up. So the next line, so carrying on in the right hand, we've got a C sharp and A sharp. You're going to play that with your one and three or one and four. And then we have 
B and D. And you're going to use your 2 and 5 to play F sharp and D sharp while still holding this D on. So I'll do that again. So from the previous line, we've just had that E and C sharp. And then we have D and G sharp. And then again. C sharp and A, and then three octave C sharps. And then an E, which is part of the next phrase. I'll just do all that line again from the E and the C sharp from the previous line. Okay, so the left hand, we have an E, and then E and B, so just a fifth, three times, and this is when we have this low A, but again, use a higher A if you don't have this low one, and then we have E, A, and E. If you can't stretch the octaves, just play a and E. So do the left hand again. So I'm going to put that together now. crossing there between the thumbs here so again the right hand is playing the black keys anyway so the right hand sort of goes on top so next line following on in the right hand so we've got that E from the previous line and you've got to hold that down whilst you play G sharp and C sharp and then that D and it's like the beginning then we have that D and F sharp again B sharp and D sharp, C sharp and E, but you're going to hold that down and add the A and C sharp to it and play that twice. Only hold that down if you can. If you can, it's fine. You just release it. You just do what you're comfortable with. I'll just do that bit again. So from and then this next chord is split. So all you're going to do from where you are now, we're going to play that A sharp, which is the bottom note of that chord with our left hand, we come to do that. So all we're going to do in the right hand is change the A to an A sharp, and then your hand is already where it needs to be. So then if we omit that A sharp for now, we have C sharp, E, A sharp, C sharp you're going to split it rapidly from lowest to highest after the left hand and then you come down and just play an A sharp because it's still an A sharp from the previous note because it's in the same bar and C sharp. Let's look at the left hand now so we've got a low E again an octave E's and then we have this A this time then we have A, E, A, twice, and then we're going to split F, C sharp, E, F sharp, and that A sharp as well. I think that's easier to do that. So you could use the fingers 5, 2, 1, 4, 2, or 2 and 3. Two. So I'll put that bit together now. The 
left hand splits first. Like that. And then at the end. Eventually you could so play this bit a bit slower for now. Just to make sure that you're playing everything with clarity and in the right order. So with a split chord, you usually split it from the lowest note to the highest note, <laughs> which is that wiggly line. And then you could make it more rapid like this. Or you could put a slight accelerando on there, so start slow, which might help it shape, shape it nicer. So the last line then, so right hand, A sharp and C sharp again, B and D, B and F sharp, A and F sharp, G sharp and F sharp, and we come down to D and G sharp, D and B, C sharp and A, and then we have this quick grace note if you like, so it's like you're playing that a note first, holding that down, and then adding the C sharp and A sharp to it, and playing that three times. So, so let's do that last line again. left hand to this part we have a low B but again use a higher B if you don't have this one and we have F sharp and D then you're going to add the B to that and then change the F sharp to an E rest and then this low A again or use a different A still use those fingers. Doesn't matter too much. I'll do it left hand again. So I'll put that last line hands together now then. So from the A sharp and C sharp from the previous line. So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed, all requests are noted and considered, so I look forward to seeing you over there.